And welcome back. Coach Saban is here again for the workout of the day. Very briefly, we're going to show you demonstrations of all the exercise hybrids you're going to be doing today. Some you know, some you will not know. So we're not going to break them down too in depth, but here is your monkey see, monkey do version. Please follow along with Coach Saban and get familiarized with these before this workout. One, the Spider-Man push-up. Next, cross-country skiers. Scorpion push-ups. Be sure to do these slow and controlled. Next up, pulse squats. That was one. That was two. Pike push-ups. Remember, if this is new to you, do half reps. That's fine. Next up, archer squats. Make sure you come all the way up before you go down, just like Coach Saban is to that neutral position. And the lunge burpee with no push-up. Make sure you're alternating just like that and don't drive your knee in the ground. Great job, Coach. As well, after that round, we're going to be doing statics. You know them all, so we're only going to demonstrate one that has not been in a workout yet, and that is the wall handstand. You're going to want to face away from the wall. Put your hands on the ground, walk your feet up, get your belly or your chest, your hands a good inch or two away from the wall. The closer your hands are, the less stress you feel in your lower back. Now, here's a good dismount. Just cartwheel down before you crash. So if you feel like you're going to come down, just cartwheel down. Bring one leg down and then the other. Uh, next up in the demo is push-up toe touch. Can you do one sideways on this one too, buddy? Excellent, thank you. And mountain climbers, sideways also be better. Yep, want to keep that butt low. Good job, guys. Climber push-ups. Excellent. And this one is also new to you guys. This is the 80-20 squat. You want to put 80% of the weight in your front leg and try to do a one-legged squat with about 20% in your rear foot for balance and support. We'll take you a few to get the hang of. But remember, you want to keep the challenge in the front leg. Moving on, elbow floor rows. So these work. You want to flex all the muscles in your back to raise your chest off the floor. You're driving your weight down through your elbows and using your back muscles to raise up. Great job. And then finally, at the end of this workout, we're going to end with 10 parkour burpees, but we stepped it up a notch. Today, we're going to give you a plyometric entrance to a plyometric exercise. We are now doing kneeling to squat parkour burpees. Boom, with push-up. That is it. Yep, it'll take you to hang, uh, a few to get the hang of it, and that is going to burn you out, but we're only doing each one of these one time. All right, shake out those wrists, get a drink of water. We kick it off in 10 seconds. All right, here we go. We're going to begin, but just remember that all of these can be broken down to basic squats and push-ups. Do your best to keep up. Here we go with Spider-Man push-ups. Three, two. One, go. We are doing 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. Halfway there, keep it up, you guys. Three, two, one, rest. All right, 10 seconds rest. Next up, cross country skiers in five. Three, two, one. One, go. This one's very much like a Nordic track. If you know what that is, you might be old. After our rest is going to be scorpion push-ups. Here comes some rest. Three, two, one, rest. All right. Now make sure to reach these scorpion push-ups. Reach two, gently. One, 
go. Three, two, one, rest. Yeah, here you go, guys. Catch your breath. Next up is going to be pulse squats. Three, it's like one two, and a half squats per squat. One, go. Remember, we want to keep our feet flat when we squat. We want your knees to track your toes. And as always, don't forget to breathe. Nice work out there. Three, two, one, rest. Nice work. Catch your breath. Coming up. Pike push-ups. It's going to be where you fold two, it halfway at the one, waist. Go. Lower your head between your hands. And if these are hard, only do half reps, guys. This is one of my most favorite push-up variations. Three, two, one, rest. Nice work out there. Next up is going to be the Three, archer squat. Two, one, go. If you end up burned out and you just can't do any more, switch it to regular squats. Just full range body weight squats. Good job out there, guys. Five seconds left on this one. Three, two, one, rest. Yes, rest. Only one more exercise in this round, and that is the lunge burpee. Remember to switch knees Three, each time. Here two, we go. One. Please do a couple forward go. and a couple sideways. In this burpee variation, there's no push up. You're welcome. Three, two, one, rest. All right, guys, we're going to take 30 seconds rest. Catch your breath. We're moving on to some statics. 15 seconds left. First one in our static series is going to be 30 seconds of the bridge. We are doing full wrestler's bridge, but you can feel free to do tricep bridge, straight bridge. Three, two, one, done. rest. Take 10 seconds. And we're going to wall sit for 30 seconds. And begin. Remember we want to have our knees and hips hip width apart. Knees and feet hip width apart. Your hips are pretty much always hip width apart. <laughs> 20 more seconds in this wall sit. Eight more seconds. And rest. All right, next up is going to be 30 second boat in five, four, three, two, one, begin. Now in a boat, we balance on our butts. You want to have your feet not touching the ground, your hands not touching the ground. The closer your knees are to your chest, the sort of easier it can feel. The more extended your feet are out, the more difficult it can feel. And there's a million things in between that you could do. All right, we're halfway through with this one. Ten more seconds on this one, guys. Great job. In five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Next up is going to be the wall handstand. In five, four, three, two, one. Walk your feet on up. 30 second handstand. You got this. Now remember what I said. If you need to come down, bring one leg down and cartwheel down. Come down on purpose. 
You don't want to crash on your head and hurt yourself. 15 seconds remaining. You've got this. Five, four, three, two, one. And come on down. All right, guys, 30 seconds rest. Woo, shake it out, catch your breath. I know that was rough. The good news is you only have one more set of Tabata than the knee length to squat parkour burpees, which you already saw how to do. And they're so fun. All right, first up, push up Three, toe touch. Two, one, go. Yep, you are, if you're reaching your right hand, you're touching your left toe. Left hand, right foot, etc. Three, two, one, rest. Ten seconds to rest. Coming right up is going to be mountain climbers. Remember to keep your butt low. Drive Three, that knee up towards two, your chest. One, Get go. Em. In the army, we had a three count, so every time your knee came up, it'd be one, two, three, one. It takes forever to get up to ten, I'll tell you that. Great job, almost there. Three, two, one, rest. Yes, catch your breath now. Next up, also upper body climber push ups. That's when you do a push up, then you lower yourself three, one elbow at a time two, to forearm plank and one, push it up. Go. Excellent job, Coach Steven. You guys are on the home stretch. Three. Stand your two, ground. One. Excellent. Rest. rest on your feet coming up. We have the 80 20 squats. Remember, that's 80% of your weight in your front leg and 20% in your Three, back leg. Two. One. Only helping enough go. to basically do a rear leg assisted one legged squat with the front leg. I know it's weird, it takes some balance, it's hard. It's worth it though, it's worth doing. Pretty soon you'll be able to do pistols if you keep this up. Three, two, one, rest. All right, catch your breath. The last one in this Tabata is elbow floor Three, rows. Three, two, one, go. Remember you're using the muscles in the back to raise the chest up. Push your elbows hard into the ground and use the strength of the back to raise the chest up. Five seconds. Three, two, one, rest. Excellent. All right, so we're getting nine more seconds and we're going to begin our 10 kneeling. So start kneeling, kneeling to Three, squat parkour burpees. Two, one, done. Yeah, get them, 10 of them. You got this, finish strong. Yes, coach. So he's not slamming to his knees when he gets in a kneeling position. He's taking one foot behind him, gently to the knees, then starting the sequence. Yeah. Now when these are your standard burpee, a regular burpee is not even gonna phase you. Like I hopefully said at the beginning of this, this is sort of an intermediate workout. But remember, you know progressions and regressions within these basic categories of push-ups and squats and bridges and leg raises. So you can always make it fit exactly where you're at. And that's what's so awesome about calisthenics. Way to go, coach. Yes. And we just started a 30 second recovery timer. You earned it if you want to go off camera and <laughs> take some gulps of water. He's going to be the fittest kid in the, in the biz. Now we are going to show you a new cool down stretch today that we have not yet shown you. It is called lower spinal floor twist. So the way it's going to work is you're going to lay down on your back and you will raise one leg up at 90 degrees. So if that's your right knee, you will reach over to that right knee, grab it with your left hand, 
and roll your right leg over to the left and extend your right arm at shoulder level, turn your head and look at it. And it looks like this. Lower spinal floor twist. Holds one up at 90, grabs the other hand, rolls the body over, extends opposite arm, and turns his face and looks towards his outstretched hand. So whenever you have a good two or three breaths, we'll just switch. But nice deep breaths on these guys. All right, switch. Reverse that process. If you get a little uh, back crack, that's totally normal, but you should not have any pain. You want to breathe in deep, exhale completely. This should feel so good, seriously. All right, our next one coming up is the child's pose. You know that one, that's a staple around these parts. Way to go. Definitely would call that intermediate, right coach? Stepped it up a, a couple notches, I think. And finally, we're going to end with a few good mornings. But they're, all kinda, they're also kind of like some goodbyes. But don't be sad. You can always work out again with us next time. We're always going to be here for you. I know, I'm super corny. Thank you so much for working out with us. Great job. If you did this whole workout as prescribed like Coach Saban, you are a beast. All right, see you next time.